The coronavirus pandemic uh, and the lockdown aimed at containing the virus have impacted the cash flow, sales, revenues and ability of micro, small and medium enterprises to pay salaries and wages of workers. According to a new study conducted by Faith Foundation, about 80% of the businesses said they were likely to lay off, lay off employees due to prolonged periods of the pandemic, inability to pay workers, uh, poor sales and restriction of movement. In the report titled Impact of COVID-19 on Nigeria MSMEs, 82.8% of the businesses said that they would likely lay off between one to five employees. Despite the negative impact, about 47% of businesses were optimistic, though, that they would survive the pandemic. While 30% were certain their businesses would not survive the pandemic, 22.8% were unsure. To share insight on this report is a financial analyst, Mukhtar Mohammed, who joins us via Skype. Good evening, Mukhtar. Good evening. Thank you for joining us and to have this very, very crucial uh, conversation. What's your reaction to the report? Is it credible or exaggerated? It's very credible. Uh, for me, it depends on who they have even interviewed. Maybe the, the numbers would have been higher than that, but it's a very credible uh, uh, um, 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 figure looking at what is happening with SMEs around having spoken to some SMEs and, and know what, what challenge, type of challenges they are going through at, at a time like this. So for me the figure is relatively very okay and I think it could have been more than that if they, if they, even if they have gone further. And that is very serious if I may add. Now what should entrepreneurs be doing at least to reduce this prediction in terms of figure? You know, when it comes to business, there are, there, are things that, there, are, there are things you need to do when you're in a downtime. And the first thing you have to do when you're in downtime is to see how to cut courses. And the first place you look at to cut your courses is, is to begin to look at your staff strength and begin to see which one is needed, which one is not needed. Mm -hmm. And so, unfortunately, that will result in why, why the entrepreneurs are saying, well, that's the normal conventional way of, of doing business. So there's no other way they could do it than that way. But then again, you, you need to look at, Number one, you, you need to improve your services when your business is having challenges, and then you need to improve your bottom lines also to be able to be in business. So uh, the other thing that the entrepreneurs can do, which I think some of them are looking at, is to reduce in terms of payment the salaries of your staff maybe by some percentage so that they can still be available because the first thing you do, like I said, in services, you are thinking of how to reach out to more people at a cheaper rate. So. There is it, it is a difficult decision um, decision they may have to take, but I think by and large I think they need to take the decision of uh, reducing in terms of salary. That's the best to do. Then they begin to think of how to improve their bottom line in terms of the services that they will render at a cheaper and faster rate. And so if they do that and they are able to come out of that, then they can they, the staff can go back and have their normal salary structure or even have an improvement of that. I think that's basically what the entrepreneurs can do for now but the other straight ways of doing it and why you have that figure is you just reduce costs and first thing you think about your overhead costs you think about your staff strength and you begin to look to, to reduce them right these are quite unprecedented times Mukhtar and you know um, on the flip side employees may not really want to hear this conversation conversation and just maybe the employers also now what's your suggestion to government to rescue the SMEs at this point First suggestion, government needs to give them palliative, and the palliative will come in terms of stimulus. And one of those best stimulus that an SME wants to enjoy is tax bracket. Give them good tax bracket. Maybe for the next three to four years, they have a tax holiday. That is that is crucial. That will help their bottom line. That will help them not to, I mean, sack any of their staff. I think that's the first thing they need to do. Then secondly, government needs to begin to see how they can get cheaper funds. And the CBN is already working on that monthly. They've reduced rates so they could assess funds, but government can still go further by seeing how they can help them also have cheaper funds to at a, at a time like this. Then I think the 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 other things that government need to do it and CBN is doing it is to do direct intervention whereby they can directly intervene in some of these SMEs by giving them cheaper funds at a single interest rate directly into their business and looking at other ways. They could help them in terms of um, technology, in terms of infrastructure. Mm -hmm. So those are basically the three major things that the SMEs need 
at this time from government. And but I think the best the government can do for them is one, which the government has not done yet, reduce their tax burden, give them tax holiday. They have tried to do the reduction in terms of um, funds that they can use to grow their business, but they need to go further down by giving them tax holidays. That's the best stimulus they can give to any SMEs now if we want those figures to come down. Mm -hmm. Like you've already established, there are some people who are on the verge of losing their jobs and some have lost their jobs already as it is. Uh, what other options, what other areas should they be looking at to explore, areas that they've never thought or have never you know, paid attention to during this time? I think if anybody is losing his job now, he has to look at his, um, what he can do and what, what type of um, capacity that you have in terms of talent, in terms of strength. What is your strength? How you can go about it? For me, this is a cycle, and the cycle will come and go. So number one, in terms of you need to begin to think of how you can develop yourself, how you can do business. There are a lot of business that will come up as a result of this COVID-19 pandemic. That's what people are not looking at. A lot of opportunity is going to stream out, out of these uh, issues. There are going to be a way of doing businesses. There are new ways of doing business, the new normals, which people say this is the new normal. So they begin to see how they can key in, into the new normal. And the best way you can key into the new normal is to begin to develop yourself, begin to make yourself an asset to any, any person. And first of all, an asset to you, how you can grow your own business also through the new normal. So for me, it's a challenging time, but once you grow yourself in times like this, very soon, things will be normal. You'll be one of those people that are most sought after by employers.